In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the Schlage AL lock. After watching this video, you will be able to measure and drill the through bolt holes using the paper template, install the lock, and test the lock operation. These are the tools you will need. The AL lock comes in a variety of models that control how the inside and outside levers operate. These are known as lock functions. In this video, we will be installing a lock with the entrance function, Schlage model AL53, on a wood door with standard ANSI cylindrical lock prep. Open the box and lift the tray containing the strike, keys, and screw pack to reveal the lock assembly, rows, and latch. To drill the two through bolt holes, fold the included paper template and place it against the door. The template must be folded according to the bevel of your door. There are fold lines for flat or no bevel, high bevel, and low bevel. If you are unsure of the bevel of your door, use the tape measure to measure one side and then the other. If the measurements are the same, the door has no bevel. If the measurements are different, the longer side is the high bevel, and the shorter side is the low bevel. Hold the template against the door so that you can see the outline of the 2 and 1 8 inch hole from the other side. Then, use a punch to mark the 5 16 inch holes on the top and bottom. Repeat on the opposite side of the door. For more convenient and consistent door prep, the optional universal clamp and door plate is available. See your Schlage service manual for more information. Carefully drill the holes with the 5 16 inch drill bit from both sides. Drilling from both sides ensures the holes meet in the middle and prevents chipping the veneer of the door. Install the latch, ensuring that the bevel of the latch is facing the door stop so that the door will close properly when installation is complete. Secure with the two screws. Install the strike onto the frame and secure with the two screws. Be sure to use the included strike plate so that the dead latching pin will be depressed by the strike plate when the door is closed. The lock assembly must be partially disassembled before installing on the door. Lift the lock assembly from the box and position it so the inside lever is facing up. Insert the pin wrench into the inside lever to depress the lever catch and gently pull the lever off. Remove the plastic lever insert. Remove the driver and driver cap. Then, place the castle nut wrench over the spring cage and turn counterclockwise to remove the castle nut bushing. Finally, remove the spring cage. Measure the thickness of your door to determine if the lock needs to be adjusted for your door thickness. If your door is 1 and 3 quarter inches thick, no adjustment is necessary. If your door is any other thickness, an adjustment to the chassis will be required. See the instruction sheet for more information. Install the outside assembly. Ensure that the prongs of the latch fit between the slide and the slide clip of the retractor. If the prongs are not properly positioned, the latch could bind or become damaged and may result in a lockout or lock-in condition. Install the spring cage on the inside of the door, ensuring that the through-bolt posts fit into the through-bolt holes. Then, install the castle nut bushing and use the castle nut wrench to tighten. Secure the spring cage with the two screws. Then, use the castle nut wrench to tighten the castle nut bushing once more. Place the inside rose over the spring cage, aligning the dimple on the rose with the groove on the spring cage. Then, turn the rose clockwise until it stops. Replace the driver and driver cap, ensuring proper orientation as shown. 
ensure the lever insert is properly seated in the inside lever. Then, push the lever onto the inside assembly until you hear a click. If you need to install the cylinder and lever, determine if you have a standard cylinder or an interchangeable core cylinder. For the standard cylinder, ensure the plastic lever insert is in place. Then, insert the cylinder into the lever and insert the key. Push the cylinder and lever onto the outside assembly. Then turn the key and push until you hear a click. Remove the key. For the interchangeable core, push the lever onto the outside assembly until you hear a click. Insert the key labeled control into the cylinder and turn clockwise until it stops. This will lower the retaining pin. Insert the cylinder into the lever and turn counterclockwise until it stops. Remove the key. Test the operation of your lock by turning the inside and outside lever and ensuring the latch fully retracts. For the AL53 function, the outside lever starts unlocked, known as passage. Pushing the inside button locks the outside lever. If the key is used or the inside lever is turned, the outside lever unlocks and remains unlocked. Pushing and turning the button permanently locks the outside lever. The key can be used to temporarily retract the latch, as can the lever, but the lock will remain locked. Turn the button back and operate the lever once to unlock. If you are unsure how your lock model should operate, see the service manual for a description. Close the door and be sure that the latch engages with the strike plate. For assistance, contact customer care at 877-671-7011.